Um, so I moved out of my Disney College program. My program ended on July 28th. It's been like two-ish weeks now, but I filmed my entire process of me moving out of my DCP. I moved myself out because airfare was just so expensive, so I just decided to move out by myself. And essentially, here's a video of me packing my entire life into four suitcases and moving them back across the country all by myself. I actually ended up shipping two, which was really helpful, and I highly recommend it if you are moving yourself out of your DCP because it makes a lot less luggage for you to deal with. Anyways, enjoy the video and... I'm sad. I miss my DCP. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like today's the day that we start this terribly sad journey. I think I'm ready to take out the suitcases. I don't know if I'm going to make it farther than that right now. I'm going to use, this is my old roommate's side of the room. This kind of feels illegal to use, but I think it's where I'm going to start. I don't think I'm ready. Like, I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready to pack. I'm not ready to leave. Crap. <laughs> Guys, I didn't know I had four. I was only supposed to have three. Okay, that's it for today. I literally can't mentally handle any more. I don't want to leave, guys. I'm sorry if this video is the most dramatic one you've ever seen. But if you've ever done the Disney College program and absolutely had the time of your life, I think you'll understand. <laughs> so it's been like a week since I pulled out these suitcases and I decided that I actually need force myself to pack a little bit because I'm getting a little bit stressed about it and also because if I don't start then it's gonna be problematic so I don't want to spend too much time but let's get to it I guess I don't even know which suitcase to attack first <laughs> stuff that I've decided I'm not gonna wear in the next week and a half. The only things I am keeping, I have a very small pile over here and then any of the clothes that are in my laundry bin, I have to figure that out. All right, I feel like I made both a little and a lot of progress all at once. I just really have no gauge on how much more stuff I have. No. This is successful actually. This thing is so heavy. All right, it is absolute chaos in here right now. Um, yeah. Essentially, I've made really good progress. My entire closet is cleaned out besides hangers, my laundry detergent, and a few of my costumes which I'm going to use, and like a, my bag that I'm going to use and shoes. So pretty much that's done. There's nothing under my bed. Um, there's nothing in these drawers besides things that I'm going to take with me. It's a bit overwhelming. I think I've reached my packing limit for the day because I just, I can't pack anymore. quite some progress it's four in the morning and i'm actually feeling it because i was really tired when i got up this morning but um yeah i'm starting to feel like i actually have my life together besides the fact that i have two overflowing suitcases see when jam packing a suitcase because you're not a good packer you want to look at all angles of the picture and you know it's kind of just like a little puzzle the way that I just don't even know if this is going to close or not. This is packed to the brim. Alright. <laughs> I don't feel like it's a good idea. Just... You? Okay. 
my gosh, that was a workout. I'm tired. This bad boy probably weighs a ton. I'm not kidding you. I'm not we have somehow gotten the majority of my stuff into these two suitcases. I'm hoping it's enough because obviously I am still here for another like weekish. So I still am living and have things. I need to go my other two suitcases. I am currently taking my mattress pad to the UPS in Flamingo Crossings Village, aka I'm taking my mattress pad on a bus. Um, and then I'm gonna take a lift to FedEx to ship my suitcases out because I was gonna ship them out right from Flamingo. Unfortunately, they have to go FedEx. It's rock and roll. I don't even know how I'm gonna lift these into an Uber. Right, figure it out. All right, I just came back. I dropped off both my suitcases, which was actually a lot easier than I expected. The whole process itself, like my mom bought the shipping label online and then just dropping them off took like less than five minutes, if that. Um, so now I'm back. The main problem was that I had to wait forever for like a lift. Officially, all of my suitcases have been expanded for this, so. She's so heavy. Why is this even within weight guidelines? I'm just hoping and praying because this is going to be an absolute menace if I have to unpack my suitcases at the airport. Guys, I'm turning in all my key cards, including my blue ID. This is so sad. It literally looks like when I moved in. That's insane. I mean, obviously it does, but I'm just thinking about to like the first clips of me moving here. One last look at her. I just feel like I'm coming back. This is so sad. This is so sad. Miss Annabelle being the queen and helping me out with my luggage. <laughs> that one's front heavy. I don't know. I don't know how that one's front heavy, but it is. <laughs> this is so freaking sad, guys. My life is like a theater where she makes her appearance every day. And every day it's the same old play She's the main character The heartbreaker, the savior And the one that Love got it away So far so far away. So close to me And it is getting harder To mask these feelings that I harbor 
forehead. And welcome to Oregon. If you have never been here before on my channel, this is my bedroom at home. It's very messy right now. I'm not showing you that part. Um, but yeah, I made it home. It's so weird to be home. I literally am not comprehending anything. It kind of feels like I'm just here like on a trip. Um, Eeyore is here too, obviously. But yeah, everything is like the wrong proportions to me. Like, every, like it's so weird. Everything like feels so familiar, but also like so weird because I haven't been here in so long. I can't believe that I moved down my DCP. Like I already, I already want to go back. It's bad. Um, yeah. Cause she's just out of reach, even when she's right in front of me, and on the days when she's miles away. Still see her face. I guess I'm a ghost, and she is a dream. The most beautiful thing I've seen, and she's just out of reach. She's just out of reach.